Hey guys, how are you? David DeFranco here from TechSocial.com and all those wonderful links below. Today is July 20th, 2011, the release of Mac OS X Lion. Rawr. That was kind of cheesy. No, but seriously guys, Mac OS X Lion is out, so it's finally my excuse to install this. I admit, I had to walk behind the camera because I totally forgot to bring it over. But this is my solid state drive, 60 gigabyte from Otherworld Computing. 60 gigabyte is a little small, but you gotta understand, and I'm sure you do understand because you're watching this video. Um, SSD prices are still pretty expensive, so I went with 60 gigabyte. Eventually, I'll go with maybe like 120 gigabyte or 200 gigabyte um, if I buy one eventually. Well, I will buy one eventually, or before then if I can get one sponsored from Intel or something. But that's another story. But anyway, here it is, 60 gigabyte. Got this for about $120 from, uh, obviously, Otherworld Computing. As well as this, this is a big tip for the newbies out there, including myself. I am a complete SSD noob. The only other um, SSD I technically own is on my Chromebook, which is now running Ubuntu. Uh, so that's only like 8 gigs, I think, or 10 gigs, something very small. But anyway, speaking of newbies, um, these average SSD is two and a half uh, inches, meaning it's like the size of a notebook drive. Basically, it's not three and a half inch, which is your standard desktop drive. So, in order to fit in my Mac Pro, because this is obviously not going in a notebook, I needed this. This is a two and a half inch to three and a half inch SSD inside an HD HDD converter hard disk drive. Uh, but I will not be using this for a disk drive, obviously, only SSD. I'm really talking a lot. Basically, if you have a uh, desktop, you're most likely going to need an SSD and this adapter, and I will link both of these products right, where are they? Oh, there they are, right below. Click those links, buy them up, enjoy. Anyway, speaking of enjoy, let's just get onto the video. But first, let's say goodbye to Snow Leopard one last time. It has been a great ride from Leopard to Snow Leopard. Can you see me? Hello, I'm here. I'm just kind of an iPod ad. Oh, speaking of, do you like the shirt? Apparently the shirt pissed a lot of people off last time, but you know what? Who cares? It's a shirt, get over it. Say goodbye to OSM Snow Leopard. One last time on the Mac Pro as well as the Mac Mini, which I will install later in my next video. And that is that. All right, I have the Mac Pro disconnected. Actually, stop being a noob now, David. Flip it around. I always got to open it on this side. And for the uh, newcomers out there to the Mac Pro world, that's very easy to access. This unlatch the uh, little switch in the back, pull it off, and you are good to go. Now let's open up the SSD. All right, here's the SSD. Again, just as a quick reminder, this is my first SSD ever, but hopefully everything will go smoothly. I don't see why not. It's a very basic process, apparently, because believe me, I've done a lot of research online, and apparently this is a great brand to go in terms of SSDs. So here it is. Again, wow, I cannot stress how light this is. I mean, this is insanely light. I mean, it's not even, I mean, I, oh, okay, there you go. My iPhone is actually heavier than this SSD, which is incredible. But let's set that aside for now. And let's open up the adapter, which again, you need if you're not already equipped with one. Take out the bubble wrap. I seriously cannot wait to see the performance boost from regular hard drive to an SSD. And of course, this is even lighter because it's just a bunch of plastic and a few metal parts. And there are instructions, which I will go through right now, and I'll come back to you guys in a second. And we are back. Upon sliding off this little cover right here, you are introduced to a little packet of screws, which I'm not sure if we definitely need yet, but there you go, they're very tiny. Uh, but I do have an extremely small screwdriver just for that, so it's perfect. And again, these are the instructions that are included with them, uh, with this, I mean. And guys, it's very simple. You literally just put the drive in here. It's kind of like a slider. It kind of just sits in place. Then you slide it up into the uh, connector right there. And you are good to go. Now, if you had to take it out, you simply just push it the opposite way. But check this out. These, this um, even has a little, little uh, lever that you press to grab it easier. Which I think is really cool. You might just easily amused, but I appreciate a good smart design like that when they give you little tools to help you in the process of the simplest things. But uh, there it is. 
Let me just make sure that, yeah, yeah, that's in all the way. We are good. Now you just slide this back on. Assuming it's on this side. Yep. There you go. Okay, first of all, my viewers pointed this out last time. Actually, a couple times. I just keep forgetting, but now I can finally do it. My drives are out of order. It's in one, three, two, four. So let's switch number three. Put that out of there. It's a little wedged. I don't know why. Ooh, what a weight difference. Huge weight difference. And let's put two in the second one. That must have happened uh, when I was doing a hard drive upgrade. By the way, guys, if you're interested, I have plenty of Mac Pro upgrade videos. Just go to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash the creative one, and literally just type in Mac Pro upgrade. I have video card upgrades, RAM upgrades, hard drive upgrades, and I think that's it. Uh, but anyway, let's take out the first hard drive. There it is. This is an original drive that came in the Mac Pro, so it's been here for a few years now. Uh, Seagate 250 gig, which is not much in terms of standard hard drives. All right, there we go, finally. Um, I figured out what I had to do. I totally forgot that I had to use these mounting brackets because the Mac Pro practically uh, obviously requires them. So, not a huge deal. Anyway, make sure your connections are on top left because the connection, you probably can't see on the camera, but is on the top left. Once it's mounted, just put it in. Just slide right in. And bam, it connects just like a regular hard drive. And by the way, here's the old one. The screws are pretty worn in there because I don't think I've ever taken the bracket off this since, well, ever. And I got this in, I believe, late 2007? Something like that. Anyway, let's boot her up and see what happens. Just a quick note before we boot up the Mac Pro, these are the screws that came with the SSD. So just to let you guys know in case you're wondering, I did not need them. I am currently using the uh, screws that came inside the Mac Pro by default. All right, the Mac Pro is all hooked up. It should be anyway. Displays are on, ready to go. Let's put this stuff over here. My desk is a mess right now, and yes, it's driving me nuts. Oh, by the way, I guess I'll keep this in here just in case I ever need it again, because I do have a crap load of data on here just in case. But I believe I backed everything up since I have a crap load of uh, storage now. Yes, I like to say crap a lot. But anyway, there's the drive. A lot of screwdrivers that I did not need, but anyway. Let's boot it up, and I don't even know what's going to happen. We have power, that's always good. Now we just wait. We got a bong. It's a very quiet bong because the volume was low. We have picture, well almost. Charge my iPhone while I'm waiting. Down to nine percent. I use it a lot today. It's all the line announcements on Twitter at twitter.com/slash David If you guys want to follow me, link is below. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Actually, I don't know if anything's even going to happen because well, nothing's on there. So I might end this video now and then skip to my lion video, which is next. But let's just wait and see if anything pops up. It'll probably say there's no startup Discord. Yep, there it goes. Bam? Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. It's obviously confused, but I don't blame it for being confused because I kind of ripped its brain out. Not the brain, but its heart. No, the memory could be its heart. Maybe the brain is the hard drive, but the brain is a processor. So processes. Alright, I'm talking to myself. Alright, what do I do now? I will do my outro. That's what I'll do. But David, you're going to leave us hanging? Well, yes I am audience. I like to leave people hanging, you know? But seriously, um, so far, as far as I can tell, uh, the SSD installation was a success. I mean, I really can't tell anything past the point of installing OS X, but as promised, that is next. So overall, I guess it was a success. Um, again, very easy process. It's just like installing a hard drive. The only extra step you need to know is that you most likely need a 2.5 inch to 3.5 to a 3.5 inch. 2.5 to 3.5 inch. 2.5 to 3.5 inch adapter. There you go. God freaking. All right. Anyway, um, this is the adapter I used again. Uh, but if you guys don't feel like reading the box, who really reads these days? Well, you should read. Uh, I will have the link below. So that's it, guys. I guess um, 
I will see you in my line installation video, right? I hope, because that will definitely be more exciting, I can promise you that, and I'll have visuals. I'll be installing OS 9 on both my Mac Pro and my Mac Mini, which is on my Samsung TV, which I am obsessed with, I admit. Samsung makes good products. I love Samsung. What can I say? I am not afraid to admit I'm a little hyper, but that's because I'm excited about OS 9. But we can't get to OS 9 without my talking, so I will end the video right now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Check out my social links right below my head itch and this Angry Birds wristband. Isn't that cool? Got that from Seaside Heights 2011. If you guys are interested, just watch that video. It's like three videos back or something like that. But okay, now I'm done. Peace. I'll see you in my IO iOS. Yeah, iOS 10 Lion. Actually, it's very similar to iOS, which is not a bad thing. All right. I'll see you in my OS 10 installation video. OS 10 Lion, I should say. We're not installing Cheetah here. All right. Enough with the stupid uh, comments. Peace.